Hello all and welcome to English 1301. I'm Carrie Gable. I'm going to be walking you through the steps of writing the narrative essay today. But let's go through a couple of things first. I always want you to know I'm here. I'm available for you. This is my office. As you see, I have stuff going on in my office. I tend to do just record stuff from my phone. I'm not... Uh, you know, super set up for all the other stuff, but that's okay. You know, phone recording works, right? So the thing that we need to realize about uh, writing the narrative essay is that you have to pick a topic that is limited in scope because you're only writing three to five pages. So you don't want to pick a topic that's going to last two, three months or weeks. You want to pick something that's usually within 24 hours or even a smaller amount of time. And then you want to add detail to that using your descriptive writing. You add your descriptive writing by using your five senses. And you add those details and that character development. So the outline for your narrative essay is really that you're going to do an introduction. And your introduction tells me the theme and the thesis of the paper. What it is you want me to get out of it. So it can't just be, okay, I'm going to tell you about a time that I played this sport. It's that you want me to get a lesson out of it. So it would be something more like um, the time that I overcame an obstacle, okay? Uh, overcoming obstacles in your life. The time that I proved to myself that I was capable of doing more than I thought I was. Okay, that would be another good example. Um, so I would recommend doing something like that. So you might start out with an introduction that reads something like, um, as the clock wound down on the on the soccer contest, I knew that we were down by one goal and we had to come back to be able to salvage a point. We played the ball out of the back, passing it through midfield, and as it came to me on the wing, I sprinted into the 10-yard box and left-footed curl shot. But unfortunately, the goalkeeper made a diving save. It was in that moment that I learned that sometimes your best effort doesn't always succeed, but you still should be proud of what you've done. See, that's my thesis. That's, that's where I'm really going with it. So then you launch into that and you tell the story of the game. Okay, and you talk about the entire game, and that's your three body paragraphs. So you're looking at uh, your first paragraph is going to be your character introduction. Your, it's going to be uh, your setting. It's going to be setting up the scene. Your second par body paragraph is going to be where your action takes place. Your, your big, that's when you actually get the ball in the scenario that I laid out in the introduction. And that's where you actually dribble to the right, and then you cut across to the left, and you're, you're able to get it onto your left foot and hit a curl shot, right? And then your, your third body paragraph is where you bring resolution to the story. You, you start to wrap everything up. And then in your fifth paragraph, now this is your not your body paragraph, this is your fifth total paragraph. This is where your conclusion is. And your conclusion, if you really want to go back and look at the uh, lesson one and lesson two, you see that the conclusion is the inverse of your introduction. So you can, again, want to restate your thesis. Now, the key to restating a thesis in the conclusion is actually that making sure that your thesis and your intro and your conclusion match up ensures that your paper stays on point all the way through. If, you're, if your thesis in the conclusion does not match your thesis in the introduction, then that means that you have lost the plot somewhere. You have gone off the rails. You have chased a rabbit. You've gone somewhere crazy. And that means that you're, it's an indicator that you need to rewrite. Okay, So that's the reason why I always recommend putting the, the thesis statement, the point of your essay in the intro and again in the conclusion, just reworded. Okay, I think that would really help. Now, I think that that is just a brief little summary of what it is that you need to do. That's my brief little rundown. Of course, be sure that you follow standard English practices. Capitalize what needs to be capitalized. Uh, don't capitalize what doesn't. Um, use punctuation. Use your grammar. 
uh, use all of those tools. This is a college writing class, so you need to understand that this is not the same standard of expectation that you have in high school. I'm going to need you to have the basic understanding of the grammar rules when you write that essay and you need to follow it. Be sure to get it in MLA format. MLA format is not negotiable, okay? It's kind of like math. 2 plus 2 equals 4. If you write 5, you get it all wrong. The reason why it's all wrong is that even though you're close, it's not the right answer. It's the same way in MLA. Just because you're close doesn't make it right. You have to get it entirely right. So be sure to check the hacker manual. Be sure to check the Purdue Owl. Be sure to check the stuff on Blackboard that I've linked so that you can uh, be sure to get all of that done correctly. Remember, 12-point font times New Roman is preferred. Be sure to check your header. Your header, which is your last name and your page number, make sure that it's 12-point font times New Roman. Your heading that appears only on your first page. Student's name, instructor's name, class name, date, dates in European format or military format is what we call it. And remember that your title is centered, but it's not any bigger font. It's There's no spaces. There's no skipping lines. There's an, It's not italicized. It's not bold print. It's just centered. That's it. 12 point times New Roman. Okay? And I think if you will follow the basic grammar rules and follow the MLA format and then follow the instructions that I've given you on the narrative essay, I think we're going to have some good papers. So I'm looking forward to it. So thanks for watching the first video. I will do my best to sit out some more. Thanks.